I'm Dr. Katie Landier, the Senior Centered Physical Therapist, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be working on building bone density. For more information as to why it's so important for older adults to focus on bone density, visit my blog, theseniorcenteredpt.com. Also, please remember to give this video a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button so you help other people find my channel and you get notifications about future content. For today's exercise video, we'll use mostly body weight, but if you'd like to use weights, we'll use them for our overhead press. If you are using weights, I recommend using weights that are a challenge for you. And what I mean by that is that by the end of our reps, so once we get to nine, and 10, you should be feeling like you want a rest. So that's how you know that your weights are appropriate. So you can get through all of the reps, but you're feeling really challenged, which is a good thing for building strength and muscle. For this video, I'm gonna show one set of each exercise, and I recommend that you do three sets total. How you do that is up to you. So if you wanna pause the video, take your one to three minute break, and then do another set of the same exercise, or if you wanna watch the video multiple times, or if you wanna watch the video multiple times throughout the day, completely up to you. However you choose to do it, I just recommend doing three sets of the reps that we do. We're first gonna look at all of the muscles that we're working in this video, so let's start there. We are gonna look at all of the muscles in this workout video. We're gonna look at lower body as well as upper body. So let's start with our lower body first. So we'll do a little zoom in here. So when we are looking at our standing marches, we're going to be working some hip flexors. So that's going to be our rectus femoris as well as our deep hip flexors. So iliacus and psoas major that are attaching on the inside of the hip, as well as the spine and running all the way down into the femur. Then we're also going to be working the standing leg. So looking at the back of the leg, we'll be working the glutes as well as the hamstring. So biceps morris, semi-membranosus and semi-tendinosus. For our bridges, we're gonna be looking at glutes and hamstrings again. And then for lunges, once again, glutes, hamstrings, if you can't tell, those are really important to work as well as working those quads again. So front muscles of the legs. And then for our squats, all those leg muscles, as well as our adductors. So adductor magnus longus brevis, we're gonna help bring the legs together as we stand. So now looking at the top part of the body. So when we're working our tricep pushups, of course we're working those triceps, so the back of the arm. And then when we're working our shoulder press, we're gonna be working deltoid as well as trapezius and those triceps to extend the elbow. And then of course, when we're doing our jumps, we're gonna be working glutes again. So glute max, glute med, and then deep to that glute min, those hamstrings again, as well as working the calf muscles. So gastrocnemius and soleus. And then we're also going to be working our abdominals. So transverse abdominis, which is deep in our abdominal unit, and then our obliques to help keep that torso nice and upright as well as working the old ticker, getting that heart rate going. So that's all the muscles we'll be working in this video. Let's get started. Okay, for this workout, we're gonna start with push-ups. I'm gonna do this on the mat table. You are welcome to do it on the floor. Also, if floor push-ups are too intense for either your wrists or your shoulders, you're welcome to do them against a wall. You're welcome to do them against a stable surface like a countertop. So I'm just gonna demonstrate them here. So I'm gonna get onto my stable surface here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my perfect plank position. So I'm gonna make sure my elbows are facing the front of my mat or my table. And then I'm gonna open my chest wide. I'm gonna bring the tips of my shoulder blades together. I'm gonna to float my heart up. So I'm kind of pressing against my mat table here. And then I'm gonna float my belly button up towards my spine so it's nice and supported. And basically all I'm doing is bending my elbows like I'm bowing or kissing that space between my hands and then I'm straightening them and bend and straighten. So I'm gonna do 10, bending and straightening. And even though these are push-ups on the knees, they're a lot of work. <laughs> if you're not feeling it, try making your elbows a little bit more narrow. So you don't want the elbows out really wide. You want them pointing towards your thighs. I have no idea how many I've done. So I'm gonna do three more. 
And last one. If you have trouble with your wrist, what you can do is you can put your forearms down flat on your surface. And I'm gonna back my knees up just a little bit and you just shift forward and shift back. So I'm kind of pressing down into my elbows to shift myself forward. So no pressure on the wrists, but boy, is this working the back of the arms. So getting a lot of that same muscle activation, getting a lot of that same strength work, but not hurting the wrist as much, which we like. That's our push-ups. I'm next gonna roll over and do our bridge. So once again, if you can get down to the floor to do this, go for it. More power to ya. You can also do this on your bed or your couch. The softer the surface, the tougher it's gonna be. So if you're able to get down to the floor with a mat, something that's not hard on your joints, I would recommend that. So my feet are close to my bottom, my shoulders are away from my ears, and I'm just gonna press my hips towards the ceiling. I'm also gonna think about reaching through my knees. So push the energy through the knees over the toes and then lower it back down. So feeling the work in the back body. So booty and hamstring work. Also belly button is supporting that spine. This is three. And then trying to keep those hips level, which is not easy, but it helps to make sure you're pushing evenly through both legs. So if I'm noticing one's coming up too high, I gotta make sure I'm pressing with my opposite leg to even them out. Let's say that's six, <laughs> seven. Breathing, relaxing the shoulders. I'm gonna do two more. And I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna roll to my side to sit up. Take your time sitting up. So. If you're feeling a little bit lightheaded, make sure you wait before you stand. I'm gonna get this table out of the way and do our standing marches next. Okay, we're gonna do our standing march. So making sure we're really focusing on using both legs as we march. And to do that, I'm gonna find a little turn out in my thighs. So I'm gonna walk my feet out a little bit wider. I'm gonna lift my heels up, turn them in. So you'll already feel inner thigh and glute turns on right away. Then as I lift my leg, I'm really trying to stand up on my supporting leg so that I'm using the muscles in the back of the leg to lift me up. And then I'm gonna lower, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And you're gonna notice that one side's a lot harder than the other, and that's very normal. So we're just working on finding that stability as well as finding the activation of the deep hip flexor. So we're gonna do 10 total here. Oh, and I'm gonna try not to sway. So you can see how these are a lot slower than the march maybe you've done in the past. So really making sure too, you're standing on your foot, not rolling out to the side. So I'm gonna stand on the tripod of my foot. So base of the first toe, base of the pinky toe, and center of the heel in order to really make sure that I have my balance. and then we're gonna shake it out. The next exercise we're gonna do is shoulder press, so I'm gonna grab my weights. For the shoulder press, you can do it standing, but I like to do it seated because I think it supports my back just a little bit better so I'm not arching when I'm lifting my hands overhead. So with your weights, you wanna select weights that are a challenge. So these are 10 pounds for me, so by the time I get to my last rep, I'm ready for my rest. So that's how you know it's a good challenge. You don't wanna underdose because then you're not gaining any strength, and if they're too heavy and you're not able to get through all the reps, you're really just gonna tire yourself out before you can gain strength either. So finding that balance where it's a good challenge is really important. So I'm gonna lift my weights up and then I'm gonna press and lower. And I'm gonna take my time, not only with my press, but with my lower down. And I'm gonna use my belly button to support my spine and I'm gonna make sure that I'm breathing. Those muscles need oxygen to build, so making sure you're taking those deep breaths. We're almost there. 
Last one. And take that rest. Next, we're gonna do squats and lunges. So I'm gonna get my weights and my chair out of the way. First, we're gonna do our squats. So I'm gonna set my feet out nice and wide. Then I'm gonna lift my heels and just find that slight turnout again. So I'm gonna think about sitting back in a chair. So I'm gonna press my bottom out like I'm sitting in a chair and then I'm gonna stand it up. What I'm gonna make sure also is that my knees aren't falling in. I wanna think about my knees pressing out as I squat down and as I stand up. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me a little bit better. So finding that turnout and I'm gonna do 10 here. So we push it out and stand. Once again, making sure you're breathing, making sure you're standing on that tripod of the foot. Almost there. Last two, last one. And shake those legs. Next, we're gonna go into our lunge. If you'd like something to hold on to, feel free, use your countertop, use your stable chair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wide step back. So I don't wanna take a step that's directly behind my front foot because that's really hard to balance. So I'm gonna take a wide step back and I'm gonna make my weight over the center. So I don't wanna be too far forward or too far back. I'm right in the middle. Then I'm just gonna drop straight down and back up. So this is kind of different than the lunge we've been taught <laughs> all our lives where we're really far back and we're pressing here. We really want that weight evenly distributed. So we're pressing equally through both legs and we're not stressing the knees as much. So making sure we're going straight down and straight back up. And then after this one, you're gonna switch sides. So I'll just turn to the other side, but you're gonna take that wide step back and you're gonna lunge it down and press. That first round we did really quickly too. So it's really not about speed. It's about making sure that you're getting those quality reps in. Once again, if you're holding on to something here or to the side, that's fine. This really isn't a balance exercise. It's all about that strength. One more and shake those legs. The last exercise we're gonna do is our side hop. So we're gonna get our jumps in, which really help to increase that bone density. So if you're unable to jump, you can do side steps. So focusing on that stomp to get that extra force through those bones. But if you're able to, we're gonna do a hop and a hop, hop, hop. And if you want to, you can just jump straight up and down. The goal here is that we're jumping. We're getting that extra force. So this is also good balance, good work for the glutes. I'm gonna do three more. Last one, and I'm gonna rest. Excellent job, you are done with this workout. Well done. Thanks so much for watching and great job on finishing your workout. Remember to revisit this video to continue to build bone density. Also, please check out my blog, theseniorcenteredpt.com. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe bell. And as always, I'm Dr. Katie, the Senior Centered Physical Therapist. Have the strength to live life to the fullest. Bye-bye.